Number one asks us to select all sequences that could be geometric. So remember, geometric means that you're multiplying um, by a common ratio here to get each of the terms. So in this first one, we see that we multiplied by two, and then four times two would be eight, not seven. So this is not multiplying by the same thing. It's actually going plus two, plus three, plus four. So that is not geometric. Part B, one third to one, one to three, three to nine. This is actually multiplying by three each time. So this one is geometric with that common factor of three. Part C is going up two each time, plus two. So we're adding, so that is not a geometric sequence. D, one half to two, two to eight, eight to 32. So this is actually multiplying by four each time. So this one is geometric. E, so we have 1,000 to 200, 200 to 40, 40 to eight. So maybe you're noticing that this one is dividing by five each time. And dividing actually means that we're multiplying by one fifth. So this one is geometric. And then F is 999, 899, 799, 699. So this one is subtracting 100 each time. So that is not geometric. Number two, a blogger has 400 subscribers to her blog in January. The number of subscribers has grown by a factor of 1.5 every month. Write a sequence to represent the number of subscribers in the three months that followed. So she started with 400 and then we want the three months that follows that, remembering that each month she multiplies by um, 1.5 times the number of subscribers. So 400 times 1.5 is gonna be 600. Then multiply by 1.5 again and we get 900 and then multiply by 1.5 again, and she would be at 1,350 subscribers by that third month. Number three, Tyler says the sequence one, one, one of repeating ones is not exponential because it doesn't change. Do you agree with Tyler? Explain your reasoning. So if we were to look at the graph of this, this means our initial term is one, after one time period, it's one. After two time periods, it's one. After three time periods, it's one. After four time periods, it's one, and so on. So this one is actually a constant function. So it's not exponentially growing or decaying because it's staying the same. It's getting a hundred, it's not growing at all. Okay, it's not growing or decaying. So exponential has to have um, a growth factor that isn't equal to one. Okay, so exponential, your growth factor cannot equal one. Number four, in 2000, an invasive plant species covered 0.2% of an island. For the five years that followed, the area that covered, the area covered by the plant tripled each year. A student says that means about half the island's area was covered by the plant in 2005. Do you agree? So half is about 50% of the island. So let's take a look here. So in the first year in 2000, we were at 0.2. So we're gonna look at 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, and 2005, remembering that each year we triple. So we're multiplying by three every time. So point, um, so point two percent times by three is 0.6%. 0 0.6 0 .6 times three is 1.8%. 1 1.8% um, 1 times three is 5.4%. Times three is 16.2%. Times three is 48.6% in 2005. So that is almost 50%. So yes, um, I agree with the statement because 48.6% is almost half of the island's area. 
Number five, a square picture has a side length of 30 centimeters and it's scaled by 60% on the photocopier. The photo or the copy is then scaled again by 60%. So what is the length of the second copy? So we started at 30 and then we're gonna multiply by 60% or 0.6. So 30 times 60% is 18. And then we're gonna scale that again by another 60%. So times by 0.6 and we get 10.8 centimeters is going to be the second copy of the picture. So what is the side length of the picture after it's been successively scaled 60% four times? So this is after two times, right? So it went 30 and then it went 18 and then it went 10.8 where each time we are multiplying by 60% or 0.6. So then we'll just continue this. So 10.8 times 0.6 is gonna be 6.48. And then we'll multiply by 0.6 again and we get about 3.89 centimeters for that fourth consecutive um, scaled copy. Number six, a geometric sequence G starts with five and then 15. How would you calculate the 50th term? So remember geometric sequence means that we're multiplying by a common factor. So we know that we're looking at multiplication here versus addition. So five times three gets us to 15. So remember, um, that's just multiplying by three once to get this second term. Then we'd multiply by three again to get the third term. So we've multiplied once by three to get the second term, again by three, so two times to get the third term, three times to get the fourth term, four times to get the fifth term. So to get the 50th, we would take five times three, 49 times. Okay, so we're gonna multiply by four, 49, or sorry, by three, 49 times, because one less than the term number. So we multiplied by three to get the second term, three again to get the third term, three again to get the fourth term, so one less. So multiply five times three, 49 times. Number seven, select all expressions equivalent to nine to the fourth. Um, and so we see a couple base threes here. So I'm just gonna rewrite this nine as a base three. So nine is actually three squared. So then we have three squared to the fourth. Okay, and you know then you can multiply these exponents. So this is really three to the eighth power. Um, so it's not three to the sixth power, but it is three to the eighth power. They are the same. Nine squared squared, or sorry, nine squared times nine squared. So nine squared times nine squared, then we know we can just add these. So this is the same as nine to the fourth power, which is what we have. So this one is good. Um, when we're dividing, we subtract the exponents. So this is going to be 4 minus a negative 2. And 4 minus a negative 2 is really 4 plus 2. So this is going to have an exponent of a 6. So this one is 9 to the 6th, not 9 to the 4th. So D, not what we want. 3 to the 4th times 3 to the 4th. So we'd add these together. So we'd have 3 to the 4 plus 4, which is 3 to the 8th which we've already discussed is equivalent to nine to the fourth. So E is good.